What's up guys? In this video, we are going to learn about the glitching effect here in Filmora 11. Alright, so first thing we need to do is to create a simple title. A simple title na lalagyan natin ngayon ng pangalan as, let's just say, July. And get the biggest font that you can get. And apply at least 105 in size. Let's choose Rockwell. There. So next up, on the second layer of the timeline, we need to look for the transition name Deposit. And apply it on the first layer. There. Let's see how it would look like ngayon if we applied that transition. Yeah. So basically, that's the glitch effect that we're trying to achieve. But but since I know that it's too simple. We can actually do more. Now let's try to save this simple effect that I did and at least name it as second layer. Now that we're all done, let's delete this first draft that we made and make use of the draft that we made earlier. Okay, next up, now we can apply this layer on one of our draft videos, but since we are using Filmora 11, we can get these stock medias and get at least a simple video that we have online and we can make use of this stock footage that we have here just a simple rain and cut it at least let's just say around four seconds now we're going to apply it on the second layer again so this text will be on top of the main footage that we have longing for four seconds duration this video would last 4 seconds and we're going to apply another set of glitch effect within this short period of time. Now in order for us to reveal the background, let's go to let's go to the composition or compositing and change the blending mode to lighten. Now it reveals the background of the rain video from the stock footage that we got and if you will be playing this one out, just a simple draft the glitch effect is already visible but since we can do more let's try to adjust more glitch effect in this clip let's put the cut between 215 and make a split on the second layer let's also put another split on this side and roughly around in the one second mark so now our layer is divided into four sections now the glitch effect will apply on the first three sections of the second layer clip. To give more details on the glitch effect, we can now get at least another set of effects and let's look for sideways. So apply this effect on the first three panels of the second layer and also look for the chromatic aberration. Apply this on the second layer, first and third clip. We can also apply another effect called flip. So this effect, so this effect will flip it horizontally and you can read it backwards. So once the glitch effect happens, the text will not just flicker around but also flip its image while running on the duration. Let's give it another try and have a look on the effect. There we go. Pretty neat. And lastly, to give more details on the glitch effect, why don't we just get at least a sound effect that sounds like a television that has a glitch error. So I already downloaded one online and apply it here on the third layer where the audio packs are being placed. Clean the rest of the exits, footages on the timeline, and there. So these kinds of effects can actually be applied either on the beginning of your video doing a transition of the clip from one place to another and you can also use it on closing your video at the end of the clip there you have it and that's how you make the glitching effect here in filmora 11. for more videos 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel and click the notification bell for more updates. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!